shout out to my lawyers, you know. <laughs> they good people, man. Uh, I love and respect for them, man. It's good to know good people in life. You know? That's true. Uh, but yeah, man, we back, baby, Brooklyn. You know what I mean? It's, it's just been a long time, and I'm happy, man. You know, finally slim and trim, looking good, feeling good. You've never been fat. Huh? You've never been fat. What One, do you mean slim and trim? You wasn't at my house when you I was You always look good, bro. Good, huh? I mean, that's what mama tells me. You know, 183, that's a number we don't like oh, to see. Oh, 183. 183, what? that's a number we don't like to see. When was that, my friend? Huh? When was that? Shoot, seven months ago. Something like that. Newlywed, you know. enjoying home yeah, cooking, et cetera. Et cetera. All the rice out in Catman do and things like that. And then even just when I try to get back, uh, when, I, when I really hurt my hand and I knew I couldn't punch things again and there's going to be another timely uh, time off, you know, not talking to you guys, just trying to stay out of the limelight and just get my stuff together. But I had ups and downs, man, ups and downs. And uh, the one thing that was up and not down was the weight, baby. But we slowly, <laughs> we slowly did better, did what we needed to do, got in camp, and now we ready. So is it harder at 30? Is that what I'm it, hearing there was a, a slow, There was a slow start. There was a slow start, you know. But uh, we're gonna we're gonna finish first place. Believe that. 28 no, 22 KOs, age 30, 22 months off. Mm -hmm. Did you miss it? Sounds like you did. How much did you miss boxing, live boxing action? Uh, you know, when I'm outside of the ring, you know, I'm not the jealous type. You know, I'm not jealous watching all these other people perform and, and make their money and do their career. But for me. I feel better when I'm living my life and I'm living out my dreams, you know? So this camp, uh, this 10 weeks, I just feel so good right now, man. Right now I feel fantastic and I'm ready to perform. Um, and, and I'm hoping to continue this, you know? And just be an active fighter and one of the best Walter Waits that the world of boxing has to offer today. One of the best or the best. You know best. I'm humble, baby. No, no, I mean, <laughs> you know I'm, I'm humble, baby. Don't get like me out of my character. You know I'm humble, baby. You ain't. You know I'm humble, keep, baby. Hey, Keith. This is the case of out of sight, out of mind. Hey, Terrence Crump and Errol Spence. No, I'm going to hear the first few, and then we'll see more on Saturday. I'm one of the best. That's how I stay humble. See, you got to strive. Once the day you tell yourself you're number one, that's the day you're done. You feel me? The day you tell yourself you're number one is the day you're done. I like to stay humble, half empty. You know what I mean? Hey, Keith, it is a case of out of sight, out of mind. How did you feel that like Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford was getting all this publicity? It was almost like he was forgotten because he was outside of the ring. How yeah, did you feel except about for when you talk about them, you know, you kind of got to say that, you know, they're still Keith Thurman out. You know, so the beautiful thing of 22 months, you know, my ranking really didn't go nowhere. My O didn't go nowhere. My accomplishments didn't go nowhere, you know? So, yeah, there's, there's that little feeling out of sight, out of mind. But we back, baby. We back. It, it, I got cameras on cameras on cameras yeah. on cameras, baby. It, we it, back. And to a degree, it's better, right? Because their stock rise, so it's, just, it's better for your career and your Look, legacy to get those victories. Like I said, I never, never hate. I ain't throwing shade, no way, when, when, when we all stars out here. We all stars. That's why any negative comment, you, you can't block a star from shining, baby. We stars, we out here in the galaxy, we shine bright, you know what I mean? Yeah, my light might have been dim, but we back. And we are gonna keep on shining until the day that I truly retire. The day you hear out of my mouth that I'm gonna retire. And that's not anytime soon. But Keith, no shortage of guys sniping and talking shit. I'm talking fans and I'm talking boxers uh -huh. who say, where's this guy? I don't believe he's gonna fight again. You ignore that stuff, you let it roll off your back. Does it make you angry at the time? And then you do meditation, how do you handle it? Oh yeah, you know, I like to, I take a little bit. Of, of what are the fans saying, how do they feel, you know. I just want to know the the emotion of the sport. Where Where is the sport of boxing today? Where How are people feeling about what I'm going through? And it's easy to talk about that, but I remember when I was in the streets of New York and I was just popping up fights and I was walking the streets going from, going from Soho back to Manhattan and all these things like that, and brothers would come up to me, hey champ, keep doing you. 
no rush, baby. We're going to be here. We're going to be here. We, we support you. So I also got a lot of support in that time, and I'm very grateful for all that support. But for those who didn't understand, and for real, I don't expect them to understand Keith Thurman. I don't expect them to understand what it's like to be champion of the world or to be an elite athlete who's injured and cannot perform on the elite level. You know, that's what I want to do. That's what we plan on doing. And that's why we're getting back to entertain you guys and to be one of the best welterweights in the world today. Can you define... What about when the fighters who are at that level say Because it's different when media or fans say it. But when a fighter says something, do you not say, well, y'all should know better. Yeah, I have to come back with injuries. So I'm not going to name the names because I'm not going to stir the pot uh, here. Errol but, Spence, but okay. What else? <laughs> what else? Well, so that's what I'm asking. Yeah, he, he said it at the, at the yeah, Fox so how do you handle, conference there. Well, how do you deal with that? What do you say to that? When those guys say it. Because that's different than just a fan saying it. He, he's talking out of his mouth. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, look. There's a lot of stuff that y'all don't know. There's a lot of conversations we've had face to face that y'all don't know. And from the day I met the boy in the back of the MGM brand, I said, what's up, EJ? Nice to meet you. I know who you are. I look forward to you coming up in the ranks. And I look forward to the day where we scrap it out. Now, like I said, I'm humble, but I'm also honest. I'm a man of my word. So it doesn't matter how many years ago that was that I said it, but from that day to this day, it's a true statement. We will fight. It's not going nowhere. But I got here before you, Pimp. I made it to the top. I got here before you. It's called priorities. This is my career. It's your career. But we will meet. And like I've been telling you guys, they're like, win, 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 win. But I had the WBA, I had the WBC. It would have been nice to defend the accomplishments and then reach back out and reunify. Keith Thurman versus Errol Spence isn't worth one title. It's not worth two titles. It should be worth three titles. Baby. And so we're going to set it up like that. So is that, is that the plan? To have to, should you be successful after this fight? Is to go get that WBC back for Sean Porter? That, that's definitely um, one of the main priorities that we have. But you know, we're always going to stay. We're always going to stay open for negotiation, for anything that's prosperous in my career, whether or not you agree with it or not. You know, I mean, I'm the, I'm the elite athlete, I'm the fighter. I will retire one day, I can't do this forever. So we at the top, we are gonna do, we're gonna box hard, we're gonna box smart, and we're gonna, you know, we're gonna pick the right fights at the right time. Yeah, Sean, Sean, Sean. 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 What do I think about the back and forth fight? I don't gotta say it, but you know, he, he's the boy that cried wolf. You know what I mean? Everybody here, oh, AB. AB's the boy that cried wolf. We've heard him over and over. I'm slapping this guy up. I'm stunting on him. He can't touch him. He can't do anything. You know, and um, the. I, I wanted Broner to win. For once, I was in the underdog's corner. I wanted AB to win the fight. And really, I want Pacquiao to win the fight because I want to fight Pacquiao, right? So I got a lot of controversial feelings in that. But I, su I support AB as a, as a young, world-class fighter fighting a 40-year-old man that apparently he couldn't beat, right? But I didn't want to see that kind of Adrian Broner. I just wanted to, I, before the fight, pre-fight, I was encouraging, I was trying to encourage AB to show the world the AB that you guys used to say might be the next Floyd Mayweather. Once upon a time, he looked tremendous. And although you want to talk about out of mind, out of sight, who's AB today? About bullshit. Did you talk to him about that? <laughs> we need more key. We ain't seen him in two years. Hey, one more thing, What's up, Keith? How do you how do you clarify? <laughs> no, but you know, I do I do no I no I did not give him words of wisdom to his face. But I do interviews like this and you know, I don't know how much he's in and out of it, but I was in his corner. I was in his corner, you know? And uh, you know, he fought Sean, I wasn't in his corner. I'm always in Sean's corner till he's fighting me. You know what I'm saying? So for once, he was the underdog. We all knew that the people throw punches against him. It's hard for him to win. All you gotta do is keep your punch count up 
He's throwing one punch at a time. But there was once upon a time where AB put hands together, you know? And I enjoyed the fight. I enjoyed cheering for him against Vargas. He started slapping up Vargas. I was on the edge of my seat like, come on, AB, land the punch, baby. Drop that boy, baby, come on, get it. You know what I mean? And I wanted him to make me excited again. Those 12 rounds, I almost went to sleep. Hey, Keith, Keith, uh, one more thing, Keith. We're giving it, all right. It's got to work out, come on.